If you enjoy this video, consider supporting us on Patreon for just $5 a month. Click on the card in the upper right hand corner for more information. Hey guys, this is Julian of Julian Gray Media. Today's video is sponsored by Loop Masters. This is the third part of a series. It seems I cover every revision of this program. Of course, today we are going to be diving into Loop Cloud version three by Loop Masters. It is changing the game of sample management, especially locally, as you're going to see throughout this video. Loop Cloud keeps on getting better and better with every revision. In the last video, I compared it to Splice, and you can check out that video in the upper right-hand corner. Fundamentally, this is the same kind of idea as Splice, just done and executed a little bit differently, with more of a focus on sample management and building things in Loop Cloud and dragging it into Ableton in real time instead of just being a, I guess, a marketplace like Splice Sounds is. So without any further ado, we're gonna dive into Loop Cloud 3 and take a look. So in the last video, we compared Loop Master's Loop Cloud to Splice, and fundamentally, they are very similar platforms, but both of them have a lot of benefits to use each other. Today, we're gonna to cover some of the Loop Master's benefits, and they're getting more and more as Loop Master's improves and starts to fill out its functionality. When Loop Master's first came out, it seemed like a very bare bones version of Splice, but now, as they start to implement these new features as we're going to discuss today, there's a lot of things that are making me want to switch over to Loop Masters from Splice. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna use Splice, but there's a lot more reasons to use Loop Masters now than there was, say, two years ago when it first came out. So we're gonna go ahead and launch Loop Cloud. I already have it open here. The big update they did for this revision, which is revision three, is the ability to add and ingest, essentially, like you would ingest footage in a, in a um, video program, samples from your own sample library collection. So unlike something like Splice, where all of the metadata and the tags, let's say like you have a snare and it tags it as one shot and snare drum and um, rim shot or something similar to that, unlike Splice where that is all done on the server backend through Splice and through whoever makes the packs, Loop Masters now does it algorithmically so you can import any of your own sample packs and then have them analyzed by key, BPM, if, for, if it's a loop or something similar to that, what type of sample, claps, crashes, reverse, atmospheric effects, etc. And it does it to a very high level of accuracy that I've never seen in something like this before. And I think Loop Masters is the first people to do something similar to this. I could be incorrect, but um, as far as in a studio environment, it's the first program I've ever seen that analyzes a mass number of samples and then tags them with metadata that you can easily access like this. So that is what they're highlighting here in the, the startup window, as you can see, introducing user content. And we're just gonna go through and briefly look at these. I've covered the functionality of Loop Cloud several times on this channel, like I've said before, but um, in this video, I'm just going to cover the new, I guess, local library system of importing your own samples. So as you see, I can, I've already imported one pack, my favorite pack, Black Octopus Sounds Leviathan. It has a different icon from the packs you would get on something like Loop Master. So you can see it right here. It's this little user folder. And that's, that's a user folder because it is one of my local sample packs that I've imported into Loop Cloud. So as you can see, it looks no different from any other pack that I've downloaded off of Loop Cloud. Here's some of the ones that I've done in the past. You can see all of these tags here still carry over to this new pack with the exception of genres and labels because obviously those tags aren't relevant to samples that you import. And as you can see, it, it shows one shots, kick, uh, bongo, conga, cowbell, etc. And I didn't put in any of this metadata. And we're actually going to import um, the second pack, Leviathan 2, just so I can show you guys what it looks like and how accurately it can do this. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and try that. We're going to hit the plus button here. And let's go to Black Octopus and we'll import Leviathan 2 because I love Leviathan. It's my favorite pack from uh, any company, really. So we're gonna hit open. And what it's gonna do, as you can say here, it now says Loop Cloud is scanning content of Black Octopus Sound Leviathan 2. This feature may take a few minutes. And it says 6,600 and what have you user content files found. And it's saying processed, and then it's giving the number. And you can change it if you are running off of a low CPU. 
Um, so if you're trying to preserve CPU while you're working on a session or something, you can switch it to that. You can pause this or you can put it in fast mode, which allocates more CPU into processing these files and getting the metadata filled out faster. But as you can see, um, even waiting that short little while while I was talking over this, you can see that these uh, metadata tags are starting to appear. And as you can see, it's pretty accurate. So if we look at the ones that have appeared, we have 808 kick. And as you can see, it's labeled as 808 and kick. If we play these samples, um, I'm going to have to route this through Ableton. Let me launch the Loop Cloud app. If we play these samples, as you can see, that is an 808 and a kick. I'm going to continue letting this go while we do this. One of the coolest things, though, that I enjoy about Loop Cloud and um, something that I will probably be using more and more in my workflow, um, when, when I'm working on drums or percussion in my music, and as you know, I do like techno stuff, mousetrap, uh, etc. I like to have my percussion in key with the song. And there's a very small number of companies, that's also why I like Black Octopus, that will take the samples, run them through a key analyzation tool, or manually find the key of the samples, and then actually tune the samples to a specific key. And there's a lot of reasons you want to do this. Um, if you have a kick drum, it's essentially a sine wave with a click on it. So um, using anything but a uh, tuned kick drum is a bad idea. So there's a lot of reasons why you would want to have your percussion in key, your toms, for example, you want those to be harmonic with your, your song. But a lot of sample packs don't do that. And what I've come to find about this new ver revision of Loop Masters that I really enjoy and I think is going to be the most functional thing for my workflow is that it actually takes the sample packs and it, for, for samples that it can deem a key, some things are a little bit too noise-based. Um, as you know, white noise is a combination of every audible frequency. Um, when a sample is too noise-based, it doesn't really carry a pitch, and, and that's, that's okay. We don't need to tune those stuff. But anything that it can deem musical enough to carry a pitch, it tries to find the pitch for, and as you can see, it will add in a key tag. So this little uh, percussive sample I have here um, from the first Leviathan pack, let me give it a play. It would have taken me maybe five minutes to go in and spectrum analyzer and, and analyze the harmonics to try to find what key the sample is in. And Loop Masters already automatically did it here. So we have a D, B, B, E, A. Um, I don't know why it has a major or minor tag. I think it, it mistook some of the harmonics for a chord. Um, that's kind of irrelevant to uh, drums anyway. But for things like pads, um, it should be helpful. So that is the predominant features of Loop Cloud's, uh, I'm sorry, Loop Master's Loop Cloud 3. That is an incredible feature, and I think it's going to change the game for local sample, um, keeping your samples uh, organized locally. It definitely is going to speed up my workflow, especially with that new key analyzation tool. That's a game changer for me, so I don't have to go in and try to analyze all my things manually. On top of all of the other cool features of Loop Cloud that already exist, you can check out my video on the previous revision, Loop Cloud 2, um, in the upper right-hand corner, again, I probably linked it earlier, but I'm, if, if I can't link it again, then I'll put it in the description. You can check out that video to see all the other features. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with looping, um, making a loop in, in Loop Cloud, the program, then dragging it right over into Ableton as a loop, or listening to a sample in the context of your song because you can play it in the clock with Ableton. Um, instead of something like Splice where you have to drag it in before you can sample it in real time and listen to it in the context of your song. There's a lot of cool things like that about Loop Cloud, and I think it is on its way to becoming one of the most functional tools um, for sample management in, in uh, electronic music or beyond. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you check out Loop Cloud uh, 3 for yourself. The program itself, which is mind-blowing to me, this whole entire tool is free. So if you want to use this tool to organize your samples, and um, as I said, it's kind of game-changing for that, you can download Loop Cloud for free and use it specifically as a sample management tool like this and analyze all of your samples and do it for free. And then, of course, you can also go on and um, you know buy one-shots similar to how you would on Splice or stores like that. So I'm Julian of Julian Gray Media. If this video helped you or if you learned something, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. And let me know why in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I try to make several videos a week. Um, some weeks are busier than others, but uh, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things now. And um, 
I guess without any further ado, I will talk to you in the next one. Go try out Loop Cloud 3, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.